Okay, okay, that's okay. Star Wars. In 1819, the British East India Company set up strategic trading posts in Singapore that established a long-lasting culture of international business and foreign trade. This major historical event ultimately resulted in the expansion of multiculturalism, a significant component to Singapore's culture that has continued to persist over the last 200 years. Evidence that supports this is Singapore's modern-day demographics, languages, and religions. A recent government census determines that Singapore's population primarily consists of people of Chinese, Malay, and Indian descent, and the primary languages consist of Mandarin, Malay, Tamil, and English. This wide range of cultural influences can be explained by the trade and immigration that the trade ports promoted through Singapore's history. The United States was once coined a melting pot of cultures, which is a term that could also be applied to Singapore due to its celebration of diverse cultural heritage. Evidence that demonstrates this conclusion includes the various annual cultural festivals such as the Chinese New Year. While the establishment of trading ports in Singapore sparked the expansion of multiculturalism, the hardships of World War II later united these diverse groups of people through radical political movements. During the war, Singapore was occupied by the Japanese and plagued by economic instability. The unrest sparked a political movement of anti-colonialism and nationalism token to Merdeka or independence in Malay that united the people of Singapore behind a common cause and set a precedent of cultural unity. This unity was a driving force in the establishment of the People's Action Party and acquisition of independence both of which greatly influenced the nation's culture. The People's Action Party was established in 1954 by Mr. Lee Yun Ye, and it has been the ruling party in Singapore for over 50 years. The purpose of their mission statement is to build a fair and just society where the benefits of progress are spread widely to all. One example of a value that the party highlights is meritocratic value. The model reflects a high power distant culture by focusing on educational achievement and occupational outward mobility. As you can see the Hofstede dimension, this is reflected by Singapore power distance dimension score of 74. Additionally, People's Action Party emphasis on unity, compassion, and reliability reflects the Singapore's collectivism culture. In order to maintain a harmonious society, the People's Section Party proposed a series of strict, strict laws to ensure Singapore's multiculturalism under good condition and promote racial harmony. So for example, racial laws such as those you might hear in Pufu tent could actually wind you up in jail or getting caned. This could be explained by the strictly low uncertainty avoidance Eight compared by compared to the forty six in America. Singapore is a perfect role model of a tolerant society. Multiculturalism has performed well in the Singaporean societies. With years of integration of different cultures, Singaporean societies have created social harmony between different culture groups. According to a recent survey, more than 90% of Singaporeans are comfortable with having people of other races and religions as neighbors or colleagues. This sense of racial harmony results to a sustainable and friendly social atmosphere. Therefore, Singapore continuously attracts talented immigrants around the world to join, and even further stimulates its economy in the long run for a more innovative, creative, and prosperous city. Using multiple aspects, Singapore makes a great example for the world to maintain sustainable racial harmony, just like what they refer in their national pledge. We, the citizens of Singapore, pledge ourselves as one united people regardless of race, language, or religion, to build a democratic society based on 
justice and equality so as to achieve happiness, prosperity, and progress of our nation. Thank you.